Welcome. The Google team is excited to share a new building block that is available in Google Docs. The new building block called Calendar Event Draft will allow you to collaborate with others to draft calendar invites. This new feature in Smart Canvas has a similar functionality as email draft template. Let's go ahead and dive deeper about this update. As you can see, I'm currently in Google Docs and this new building block Calendar Event Draft can be used inside Google Docs only at this time. So let's first go ahead and insert that building block. You can first go up to the top, type the at search menu, and then look for the building block calendar event draft. Or you could go to insert building blocks and insert calendar event draft. Either way, it will give you the same functionality. I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and do that building block calendar event draft. Then you have fields that need to be completed. Now, the purpose of this concept is to be able to collaborate with others as you're drafting your calendar invitation. So what I would recommend is obviously sharing the document and collaborating with others, or otherwise it could be a great template and just kind of rinse and repeat the process for each particular event. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and complete the fields that are asked to be completed. So first I'm gonna add the title. I'm gonna say Google Smart Canvas Training is the title of the event. And I can go ahead in the guest field and type in the at menu and start adding my guests that I would like to invite. And you can add multiple people. Now keep in mind when you add the people chip, it does ask you, do you wanna share this particular document with this person? And the answer is no, in this case, I'm inviting them. I don't need them to see the invitation draft. So I'm gonna go ahead and dismiss that particular pop-up. Then you can always repeat and add more guests if you choose to. Then the smart time is you get a calendar picker and I'm going to go ahead and select June 16th. I'm going to select uh, 1 p.m. and hit OK. So I have the start time and date and I'm going to do repeat that with the end time and date. I'm going to go ahead and do June 16th and I'm going to end at 2 p.m. So it's an hour long meeting and then I'm going to choose the location. This is where you can use the place chip by using the at symbol and you can start typing in the address and you'll notice that you can use the place chip. Um, I'm gonna go ahead to 100 East Grand. It might help if you spell it right, 200 East Grand and then select OCIO's address, which is that address. Then you go to the description. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the preview in calendar because I'm ready to publish. I'm gonna first obviously preview it. I'm gonna click the preview and then it brings up the event details and you obviously want to review it one more time before I hit save. You see that the date and time is correct. Um, it does, if you need to repeat it, this is where you would need to select repeat um, or reoccurring, double check that that's the right address that we expected. You make sure everything's good to go and you can click save and now it is ready to be distributed and invited to your guest. With that, I strongly encourage you to check out all the resources posted below in the description to learn more about this update. Thank you.